some sort of a shoot, isn't it? Hey guys. Oh, guys do the CrossFit. Sup? How are you? Yeah, I just, just finished the workout and I uh, just want to say, I think that it was very hard in my body. I'm sweating and I look a little shoddy, shoddy. I don't know, there we go. Let's go. Look, I don't want to talk. How you try and press the kid and read it, you was soft. Oh, you know what's capping, homie, you don't know the law. The 2024 season has begun. What are we talking here, bros? <laughs> Just, you know, uh, getting the elbow and the wrist nice and warm. No, this is, uh, mate, this ball, I'll tell you right now, you want to talk about games? You won't see too many games reflected on the uh, first workout, but games in terms of rehab, this bad boy, when I started doing this, to go for a minute with any kind of intensity would gas out the elbow and the forearm and the wrist and like the shoulder. Now, in a minute, three sets, back and forth. It's, uh, no, it's just one of many fun little activities to get these old joints working. So many things went into making the decision to go team this year for myself. Um, a big one of obviously having last season off uh, started the season with a back injury. That definitely, first time in 11 years that I haven't competed. Uh, and that kind of rocked me. So to kind of counter, to stop myself dro uh, dropping into some bad habits, I went over to Iceland, spent a couple of months over there, still just training with the crew. Um, during that time, we just thought, what an opportunity to work on my gymnastics. Uh, and then unbeknownst to me, like one week, just felt a little bit of pain through my elbow Kind of just felt like tendonitis. Uh, we had like a bunch of the boys from the European semis, like Hapalainen and a few of the Finnish boys, uh, BK, obviously Annie, so they were all training. So I was jumping in on like a bit of a simulated training camp with them, doing what I could. And this just was getting worse. Just kind of ignored it, knowing I was gonna have about a month off afterwards to do a bit of travel and you know, enjoy some downtime that I haven't had for a long time in that part of the season. And then, yeah, just it didn't get better. I got, um. Found out pretty shortly after that I was gonna, uh, they'd like me to be a gladiator. So obviously filmed gladiators, which was great, but had this little injury. I had to be kind of cautious of what I did between then and filming to sort of see how, like to just make sure I could actually do the show. Uh, and then during the show, there was this one game called Whiplash. What a wonderful name for a game. But essentially you just hold this like double handle and you're like trying to let, stop the contender pulling you out of the circle. About as bad as it gets for an elbow. Um, and then yeah, in training for that game, so practicing it, I felt it go quite badly. Got an MRI, October, and so about 50, a bit over 50% of the tendon was torn in half. Um, but yeah, it meant that there was, it wasn't out of the question that I would be back to be able to do this season. It was just a bit of a question as to how soon I'd be able to be training at full capacity to actually make a run at individual. Just for a sports we'll be called Kara's team for the majority of the season. It'll be just like being Annie's team for a while. Oh. That right elbow. So turn it slightly in because it just biases, like allows me to pull it up like that, which keeps it better. And it actually makes it so much better that I don't have to change because when you juggle it, that like going from here and having to turn it in inside, it's not bad. It's. Why don't you choose the oldest teammates in the world? Yeah, why did you choose us? Why did you choose us? There are, like, age is just a number, man. Hey, that's all, still, still say basically 23, right? Age is not just a number, age is <laughs> okay, I, freaky I, I joints. Also, I also a, feel like this I'm issue, anyway, this so <laughs> Broken hip, broken back, broken everything, broken soul. It's a long time coming, to be honest. Like, I think he, he has always said that Sydney is his favorite city in the entire world, but now that I think he's actually made the move, I think he'll find that the Gold Coast is the best city in the entire world, especially the, like, it's livable, good surf all the time, good people, good environment. He's not going anywhere. Five years, but I still feel this way before an open workout. With no pressure, knowing it's just like, I know, I know how it's gonna feel, I know how it's gonna be. Like it's not, there's nothing at stake here. And yet I still feel like I'm gonna throw up. Hate it. No wonder if that will ever change. <laughs> ever. Here we go. Kicking off. It's gonna be a fun one, I reckon. Gonna be terrible. You know, James and I had always kind of spoken off and on about, first of all, me moving up here. You know, we've got the boys up here together. Um, yeah, he's one of my good mates. And just like, we're both kind of at that back end of the season. We want to still compete. Like, this is part of who we are. We love to compete. And 
yeah, just had a bit of a conversation. It would have been around November last year up here, just kind of sat around. I said, would you go team if I went team? He's like, yeah, absolutely. If we get two good girls, we'll do a team. Um, I said, I oh, will just, yeah, like what an opportunity for us to have a bit of fun. We figured we could find maybe two girls that would give us a team that would be potentially able to go to the games and great opportunity for us to keep competing, keep doing what we love, but you know, with each other and with like a bunch of other people that we really got along with. And then Kara's partner reached out to James and was like, oi, if you boys are in for a team, I think Kara might be on. I said, well, yeah, we're down. And so Kara came to the party and it was three geriatrics just wanting to do a bit of fitness. <laughs> and um, then, yeah, M, M was uh, a last minute addition that we got extremely lucky with. So yeah, mate, it's a um, great group of crew, a full and all Aussie team as well. Um, like yeah, all about all of us born, raised Australian, proud Australians. So it'd be very cool to see an all Aussie team uh, on the podium, but yeah, ideally on top. But we got a hell of a lot of work to do to get there, but that's the goal. Stand on that podium, stand on the top of it. This is like walking around, honestly. How good's the pace? It's all the same things. So remember when like my first regionals and we were all out the back in this like the little concrete room in the down section of um, Wynn Stadium and just watching the boys pace around before the event and just being like, if they put a pedometer on us in that little out there, I wonder how many distance we'd clock up and uh, still doing it before. I don't know, actually, do you know what? I'm, I'll be honest, I'm really nervous for this. I haven't done CrossFit in a competitive setting now in over a year and yeah, like I've been starting to add more CrossFit workouts back into training. I know it's one of those weird things where like, I just know it's not gonna be good. I know I'm not gonna set any records, but you know, the head and the heart want two different things. Wanna go, wanna push, wanna see my name back on the leaderboard. But yeah, just staying calm, staying chill, playing my own game, it's easier said than done. Push a bit earlier than I did. I think you go just sub seven. Cool, cool, cool. It never really gets hard. I was probably pretty smooth the whole way. Yeah, I was. I mean, maybe that's why. But I was probably too conservative. I think you can start your push from the second set of fifteen burpees. Yeah. So breathe. No, that's that's right. Breathe. Finish those snatches. Start, start the push. Because yeah, it doesn't matter how fucking tired you are. You can do your nine. I reckon this year we can have an Aussie team, an Aussie man and an Aussie woman on top of the podium. I genuinely believe that we have people with that potential. Um, don't get me wrong, for us, it's gonna take a lot of work, but you know, James, like having each other to train with now, I think that's what James and I need, because I think we're both so much, I think we're both very comfortable training on our own, and comfortable is not the way you win the CrossFit games. And I think having each other, you know, he was just watching me then, and I have, think like having each other just there and honest, like in training in that to kind of make each other go that bit quicker. We've always been, like you look at the leaderboards historically, it's been me, James, James, me, me, James. There's a few where he, he got a bit carried away and went a bit too well, but <laughs> him for that. Um, but yeah, we've always been pretty good at like pretty close together. We have sort of some similar strengths, but then some very different weaknesses that can bring each other up. And I think, yeah, fuck, it's gonna be a good year, man. Like, and change of scene is always good for training, so I'm pumped. Go. It's the first of the third, my wedding anniversary. <laughs> Maybe just like, I swear every year we're like ramp up to it and we're like, it's our anniversary soon, it's coming, it's coming. So like, I had it in my calendar to try and remember. And then still we like forgot this morning and then re-remember and you know, just 
Another day. Another day with kids. Like I'll finally get back to sleep, then he'll wake me up, then I'm feeding him, and then the demons come oh, in yeah. and be like, oh, now it's an hour before yeah. I'm going back. Like the, the plan is like when I feed him, I have to like keep my eyes closed, like pretend I'm still asleep, like meditate while I feed him in the middle of the night so that I don't let anything get in my head. Yeah. It's hard, man. It's so hard. I mean, I, I, I say it is like I know what you're talking about. I have no fucking clue. It's just hard enough. I wake up and I have to feed myself. Feed the little angel on my shoulder, try to shut the devil up. So it's alright, we can go back to sleep, it's good, it's good. Why are you looking stressed, bro? <laughs> because I know I'm about to spend seven, give or take, minutes on extra focus. <laughs> That's all, and a little bit of extra, like, heavy breath. That's why. Seven minutes. It's a dreadful number. You and Kara are going at the same time? I think so. That'd be good. It's been ages since we've had a workout together. Years. 2018, I reckon. When's the last time we did a workout with Newbury? I couldn't tell ya. I couldn't tell ya. Legit, like maybe when we were in a team or something together, like I don't know, since we've, like the years just disappear. Like, you'll be like, oh, that was, oh wait, I was pregnant for a year and then there was that, like, it's been four years since like something's happened. My first open was 2011. Which was the first main open, wasn't it? Yeah. I've been here since the start, man. When they did that, they were, so, you know, on the announcement, I woke up, I was like so confused, I didn't know what's happening, but they did that five minutes of the ground overhead. I was watching it in silence, like waiting for him. And I was like, that was my first ever open workout. And I remember it was like, it was like 105 pounds, like 52 kilos. And I'd never lifted that. And I remember going into that workout and I was like, well, I've never lifted this way before. And I'm like, can you imagine how much I would hurt now? Now, talking about Alexis Raptus or whatever, and then I saw the thing, I said like 23 or 24, and I was like, I, thought I was like, oh my god, I'm 10 years old. I was like, this bitch is closer to my child's age than mine. Literally, most of the girls I competed against last time were closer to my daughter's age than me. And Maddie goes, say she became a CrossFitter, she could potentially, and these girls had a career as long as mine, she could compete against girls that I competed against. That's fucking and she wild. Like, Mom, you suck. I beat you again. I'm a lost and you didn't. Can oh. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> I'm saying, wild. if like we were saying how if Scotty became a crossfitter, that she could compete against girls that I competed against. Yeah. And then I was like, imagine if she gave me shit like, oh, I beat Emma Lawson and you can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look, I didn't know if I was going to compete like at all. Obviously, like baby's only five months old, so. Um, their mindset actually going in was Maddie said to me like look you can have two kids you know you're fully mum mode and you're at home a lot and like you love training you love doing this and he was like he kind of encouraged me and was like I think this will just be good for like a social life and just to do what you do and have something a little bit separate like than just the kids I love being a mum and doing that but I'm like all right fine um so yeah this year I kind of just set a few different goals like number one I said if I'm going to do team it was only going to be with people that are a good time I'm like I want to do well like you don't want to just kind of like not care but it's more about having a really good time and doing well within that with like no stress or angst or anything like I don't have the energy or the capacity for any more like stress loads so um, I save that for this situation so then um, yeah I just I have a couple of personal goals like I just want to stay like feeling really healthy and fit, um, not prioritizing strength as much. I really just want to like, yeah, I just want to feel like not inflamed and like just not so overworked like I have for like 10 years of individual competition um, and just listen to my body. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just have a much better time. I've got a couple of little personal goals. Like I want to strengthen up my deadlift because it's always been a weakness and I haven't had like a lot of time for it. And so I just thought that'd be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, other than that, just, have some fun, work hard, but like not lose sleep over it. What's the, um, what's the age separation here between the preview? What's the age separation? Uh, oh, like, I think it's less than like eight months. Yeah, well, you're 90? 89, 89, 90. Cara and I lived through the 80s. Good decade, really. Peaked in 89. I, I would say it was probably the best year of the 80s, 89. But yeah, one of my favorite things to do though is tell people that I'm masters this year. And then like, hopefully, and now, all of you kids are playing this at home if I tell you I'm a master's this year. And they go, wow, you're master's already? No idea. No, it's great. Like, I, my body feels like a fucking master though. But yeah, it's uh, it's crazy though to think, like, 
These kids are so young and how long we've been doing this thing for and still fucking love it. That's the thing. I still fucking love it. James and Kara, oh, they're both Scorpios. Yeah. So she was like, I think Kara will come out on top. She's yeah. a little bit more like forceful or something. Just the, the female version. Yeah. So like, yeah. oh, who'll be the leader? And I'm like, she, so yeah. funny. I love my team. I was like, look, I don't know like who, you know, we're talking about it. To be honest, Maddie kind of was like, as he always is, he goes just behind my back and like set stuff up and like middleman's everything. That, I don't know half the conversations he has. And uh, so he was like, oh, I think these guys would be really good. And when we kind of like put it to the guys and talking, they're like, yeah, this is so right. Like we're all in a really similar space. Like James and Khan and I are old and then <laughs> We each have like businesses and just stuff on where we're like, we love what we do. We've got all of this fitness. We love going to the games, but we also have other things. And uh, so that's like really nice that we're on the same page. And then we got Em in, obviously it was her rookie year. Um, and I think we can all like mutually benefit. She's obviously young, awesome personality, like just really good vibes. And then um, I personally am just hoping maybe we can help her on like the next steps. Um, maybe give her just a bit of experience, you know, guide her along and things. Maybe she can make us feel young again. <laughs> like, just for a little bit every now and again, or maybe we'll feel older, but yeah, we're all just like Aussies, out for a good time, but still like to work hard. And I think we all like gel really well. There's a difference between like individual athlete fit and then like actually feeling healthy. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and like at the moment I feel really healthy. Like it might not be at my max, but like I feel really good. Yes. It's so much better. It's so much better. It's so much better. Like, I'm just really protective of like my hormones and my nervous system. And I'm like, if, if those two are good, then I'll have a good time and I'll like do well. Like, prioritizing that fitness, I would say off the back of doing like a year of team, a couple of years of team, it makes a difference. So you look at CrossFit, Oslo, Navy Blue, when you look at their athletes, they were kind of four athletes that weren't individually like exceptional but as a team they were just so cardiovascularly fit yeah. like they were like pure just like scandinavian stallions just super yeah. fit crew yeah. and that's why they've been second like three four years in a row yeah i spoke to jake at mayhem the other day we just call like once a month and just catch up and he's like he goes you just need to get out oh we had a talk about it he's like you just need to get out and run on that road he's like just run on the road because i'm like i went to the whole yeah i'm like i went to the games last time the whole season like I trained at home with my kids so all I done was an air runner and I just struggled and he's like you know you can't run <laughs> he didn't say I can't run but like he pretty much said I can't run up in the burpee yeah. trying to crunch my lower abs in I did Amanda a few days ago haven't done that many ab mats sit Annie Annie Annie
I think we found the fittest person on team. Oh, I don't think we needed to look really. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else was looking. This is my press. Press. No, like, try not to smash my boots. Oh, yeah. So my press is like a bit cautious. So it just hurt. Yeah. Boots, you know? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> See, Jay wouldn't have done this. I'm training for the games. <laughs> Legitimately, I think, surely we're going with Thunder. I actually think, oh, it'll be our side. You know what, let me change my answer. I think it'll be us, our side, and possibly EXF. Touring Pro is this weekend. I think it is EXF. But Thunder have like a, have such a high ceiling. They all have such a high ceiling of where they can get to, and they've all been here before, like, and, and know how to train for a semi-final, like, so that, that's why I can't count them out.